So it seems like Jamel Hill went ahead and gave her thoughts on the Kyrie Irving situation. And of course, it does seem like she is not standing with Kyrie. And of course, I'm not surprised because she's been doing these kind of things for years now to the, you know, the young brothers. So I'm definitely not surprised on how she respond and what she thought exactly about the situation. So basically what she was saying is she's basically trying to clown him saying that, you know, he's coming up with these conspiracy theories. Uh, she's trying to make him seem like he's dumb or he doesn't know any type of uh, history or the past or anything like that. So she's definitely, you know, bashing Kyrie, trying to tarnish his name, of course, which doesn't surprise me at all. And it's really kind of sad how she just has the nerves to just say this stuff after, you know, the stuff that's going on with them and that, you know, they're trying to end this man's career. So for her to just try to put the icing on cake, it's just really sad to me. And she knows what they're trying to do to this man, but she's thinking, let me just go ahead and put the finishing move on him. And it's crazy because she knows how good hearted Kyrie Irving is. She's seen all the positive things he's done to the community, to the us fans as well. But it doesn't even surprise me anymore because this is the only time she's heard is when she's always black bashing another black man. But she went ahead and took to say that Irving has joined a troubling club of high profile black male celebrities, also including the rapper Kanye West, who have stubbornly embraced cons conspiracy theories, particularly anti-Semitic ones under the pretext of seeking a deeper truth of their own origins, as well as also saying there's nothing wrong with black men examining their roots to better understand their place in history or in the world. But it's hard to believe that this can be done without advancing any ideas that, you know, diminish others. And it's crazy how she says this because he's said like constantly and time after time that that's not what his objective was, was to diminish or down other people or any other race. Obviously, he's been spoken on that. So why would she say that when obviously, you know, that was not his intentions on doing at all? But this is what I'm trying to pinpoint is they're trying to mislabel him and make him look like someone he's not at all. Like we all know, like we all know this. This is obvious and this is facts. We know how Kyrie is. We know he's doesn't have any type of racism in his heart or any such of that nature so they're trying to bash him and try to make him look like something he's not but this last one that i'm gonna read out to you guys is obviously the icing on the cake which just showed me that you know she's bashing this man and you know she's been doing this for years now so none of this stuff surprised me at all but she went ahead and said that basically kyrie irvin is couching ideas in shallow intellectualism or just claiming to be misunderstood and thinking that it's enough to shield him for any real criticism as her own article proves Irvin's couching is no shield for, from criticism but criticism is having a hard time stopping the denigration but she's basically just trying to clown him saying he doesn't know what he's talking about he's not smart not intelligent so um this is basically what she's doing she's causing uh chaos and madness and just a bunch of negative activity that you know Kyrie already does not need at the end of the day she's been doing this for years so none of this stuff even surprises me but uh, I just want to get you guys take on this I want you guys to tell me what you guys think how you feel about this situation I'm not rocking with her let me know, let me know what you guys think and uh also as well guys during a $50 giveaway at 100 subscribers uh, for a chance to win, all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel. And once I reach 100 subscribers, I'll go ahead and point out the lucky winner and I'll go ahead and cash out that person $50. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys, so this channel could uh, gain more attention. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.